instruction, it says, if you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, and Christ's first instruction was repent. Okay. Yeah. Now, repentance is turning away from your evil deeds. And, and feeling good. remorse. Oh, no, no, there's no doing good ah, involved. So, so, so the deed still and, doesn't matter. And, and it does. There, uh, are, no, there are no works that can reach salvation, but once you have salvation, the fruits of the Spirit will be evident in you. So, 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 so you're proving my point for me. Produce I'm not. You're if God knows repentance. you're... That, that's, the, that's the way God. to hell is paved with good intentions. If the intention and the feeling in your heart was enough, you know. So what you're saying is intentional sin is is is, is it's beyond, more severe it, than is, unintentional. Is, yeah, yes, obviously. But, but what I'm saying is, what, so what I'm understanding from you is that you're saying that intentional sin is beyond the pale, but unintentional sin is not beyond beyond the pale. I use beyond salvation. No way. No. Oh, no so there is not. no sin that is beyond that can remove your salvation from you apart from blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. But but a person can choose to do something which. Paul says you are then severed from Christ. He is, and I'm going to get grief for saying it, but it's in the Bible. He says you are now severed from Christ and you have fallen from grace. So no one can snatch you from the arms of the Father, but you can jump, you can walk. So if you still have, so, so if you're severed from him, so you're not saved. Yes. Okay, so you still have the sin. Yes. And how do you get rid of the sin? You can't come to repentance again, is what Paul says. Ah, so you can't. Well, so there's something. Um, Galatians 5, 4 is Galatians the severed 5, from, from, from Yep, yeah, 4. So that means that there is something. Also, Hebrews six four to six. There's something says which that you... once, sorry, once you've tasted the Holy Spirit, once you've etc. Yeah. Um, and it's talking in the past tense, and then it says they can't come back to repentance. Yeah. I think that means that there is something that you can do according to this Galatians five four. That yes, it's actually going to be circumcised and trying to keep the Jewish law um, in place of your uh, grace. So it's saying you can do these things. But if you try and do them to attain God's favour now that you are in Christ, you're severing, you're severed from Christ because you you have the blood, and now you're trying to do works of the law. So 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 what you're saying is the prohibition here is not that you should do these laws. The prohibition is to do it with the intent that by doing that you're doing something that God wants you to do. It's no, it's trying to obtain uh, the pleasure of God, I guess, by means other than we are innately sinful Christians. So, so you can only get the pleasure of God, God's grace, through faith, belief in Christ. Faith, belief. Yes. So belief that He died for your sins, is the Lord and Saviour, and rose on the third day. God rose him on the third day. Right? Yeah. Okay. So that's what gets you. That's what you believe gets you um, salvation. Gets you salvation. Yes. But if you do. If once you have if salvation, you do, if if you do good works, yes, okay, as specified in the Mosaic law, yes, and, uh, and circumcision and, and, isn't a good work. Circumcision really? is not no, a, it's a commandment. Yeah. It was given to Abraham, so that's if, not if, a good if, work. If, it's a commandment, but if, if, it, if it is a commandment from God, then it is by nature a good work. Okay, that's a differentiation I wouldn't make because there are pro prohibitive um, Mosaic laws. There are yes. thou shalt not. So there's no work involved. If it, yeah, you see. So, yeah, Positive commandments, like you shall circumcise the son of Eve. Neither. He's an independent party. He's behind the camera for a reason. You're not going to try and missionize Mr. Rex, are you? I, I don't need to film. <laughs> 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 uh, he, uh, step back then and I'll, I'll take a place <laughs> on the uh, whole bit of doom, as it were. So, what's it? Yeah. So, who you so no, the, no, the issue with, that Paul is speaking about is Gentile converts into Christianity and the Jewish uh, converts. Were, um, there was some confusion about how many Jewish practices the new incomers should take, and Paul is simply saying, "Don't do any of them." No, yeah. not at all. No, not, not at all. Not no, not, not at all. To. No, I'm not going to allow you to do okay. that because he is not saying that at all. What he is saying is, if you adopt these practices for some salvific purpose, you when doing? you are fully in how grace, you, you are doing good. You're just denigrating the sacrifice of Christ. You're saying, "Oh, I'm going to do this for a religious purpose." If you want to. Uh, a shoe to walk, and if you want to uh, not wear two different fabrics, and if you want to have a tacit seat, go for it. Like, have to, everything, you can do it, go at it. But if you do it in place of Christ's sacrifice, then you yourself are sacrificed. Like, you're right. you know, so, 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 therefore, the prohibited deed, although it's not really a deed, the, the, the prohibited thing to yes, the, the, prohibited again. Right, the thing you're not allowed to do the admonishment the forbidden act is the act of having an intent of doing something 
from the mosaic law to the salvation outside of Jesus. Yes, because there's no temple by that time also. You can't keep the whole law by the time Paul is speaking. So that's a different argument. I'm, 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 what I'm saying is that... It's literally circumcision that they are actually discussing at that point. If somebody... Okay, let me just raise my question. Sure. Um, if somebody lies, Christian lies, yes. tell, Christian tells a lie. But the Christian believes. But the Christian should never lie. Because the devil is Okay, but if a Christian does lie. Right? If, if, if the Christian does yes. lie. But the Christian believes that Jesus um, died, died for his sins as the Lord and Savior yes. and rose on the third day. What and happens is, to and that is Christian? penitent. And, and is also and penitent. Repents of the liar. And, so, and he continues to do it anyway. Repentance. He has a more. Yeah, 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 repentance is an action as well. He, 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 he has a more. He, he has forgiveness. But, but, but he's a compulsive liar. He, he has continues to do it anyway. He has forgiveness. He has forgiveness. So that's compulsive, because I would say compulsive lying is actually a psychologically recognised um, syndrome. So if it's just a persistent liar who oh, cares not for the fruits of the He cares, but he keeps doing it. He can't help I've got a verse. Okay, then I've got he a verse. has to get. So hold on. I've got something really. So God fosters reliance upon Him. You can pray for the sin to be removed earnestly and sincerely, but when and if you fail again. The sin is not not attempting to re-establish your um, good faith in God. Like the sin is not the sin, if that makes sense. Because God is fostering in you a reliance upon Him and not your own effort of will to to not so, lie. To not do. Yeah. So, so what you're saying, it seems to me, just to make sure I'm understanding you properly, I might misunderstand you. Then you'd have to repeat yourself. Um, the sin is not um, the sin was probably not the best line I've ever delivered. Yeah. So when you commit that act, the the act that, that is according to the Mosaic law. Yes. Is a, is a sin, okay? When you commit that that it's act not, at this point, um, it would not be counted against you as a sin. You would still be saved. Yes, it isn't sinful to um, observe Jewish customs and traditions. No, I'm, and I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that. I'm, 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 that's not where I'm at. Right now. right now, I'm saying if you break laws, if you oh, if, if you break the mosaic law, you're fine. Right. No. Are there any exceptions to that? No. No. No, because blasphemy of the spirit is not a prohibition or an act. Like yes, it is. Within the ten. Wait, wait, wait. Blasphemy of the spirit, I don't know. Because I don't, That's because, the because, only because eternal, because, unforgivable because, because, sin the Bible says. Well, the New okay, Testament. Okay, because, we'll call, because we don't have such a thing as blasphemy of the spirit mentioned in the Tanakh anyway. Right. Now, blasphemy of God, but of course that's you believe fine. the spirit isn't, so that's fine. And murder? Um, it's not fine, it's not like a top ten, how about you try this, but if you are sincerely penitent and remorseful and you're in God's grace, then there's nothing other than blasphemy of the spirit which can, um, that cannot be forgiven. But, I pray often, because I've had Muslims do it to my face just to be like, um, I don't know, bravado, that God will take into account mental illness and like stupidity. Hopefully. But the Bible says you can slander the Son, you can say what you like about the Father, but do not blaspheme the Spirit because it will not be forgiven. It's not maybe not, it will not. Right, so what we have established. Spoiler alert, everyone. So, so what we have established is that the only act which is beyond salvation, beyond redemption, yes. beyond redemption of Christianity, is blasphemy of the so called spirit. So called, it's in the Old Testament, just so you know. Well, the spirit, as mentioned in the in the Tanakh, is not the same spirit the Christians believe in. How do you know? Because the spirit yeah, mentioned in the Tanakh is not an attribute of God, it is something that God has. The Holy Spirit is not an attribute of God. Because you believe the Holy Spirit is part of God. I believe the Holy Spirit is God. Exactly. You believe that you believe that you believe that there's a God there who has three persons. Yes. So it's a person of God. Yeah, a person of God. Right? So, so, so it's the Bible that's three really different. Okay. So we can only approach this with human understanding. Of course. And because you're under the first or old covenant rather, not first, um, because that would be ridiculous to be running around with big leaves or something. But because you're in the old covenant, the Jewish covenant, you um adhere mainly from my interactions with you to certain rabbis and schools of thought within Judaism which um, you know designate meaning to certain verses I think that's fair and so do I I take certain Christian scholars as uh, not gospel but almost um, but if we differ on our opinion of the same character in the same Bible, it doesn't mean either of us is actually right. It just means that from uh, that God's um, revelation to mankind at this time is 
maybe leaning towards what you say, your interpretation. And within the New Testament, the interpretation is then broadened because the Holy Spirit indwells those people. So they have a personal connection to this um, being whereby they, the Bible set, the New Testament says you will receive discernment and fruits of the Spirit, which are peace and patience and kindness and mercy and goodness and gentleness and all of those things that can give you a more reflective um, perception of, of something you're connected to other than through a scroll and through the stories of the prophets etc. So I'm not disagreeing with your assessment, I am disagreeing with your assessment but not why you've come to that conclusion because I think God had a different um, purpose in the Old Testament. He's displaying his faithfulness over and over again to a particularly like rowdy teenage chosen people. Like they just keep, you know, they keep getting it spectacularly wrong. So, but then so, they so, repent so, so, and then God restores them. Exactly. They so, misunderstand um, God quite yeah. a few times though. So there's yes, two. But then he so, still keeps his covenant of love. Yes, faithfulness, in, despite the infidelity of Israel. So there's two, there's two things I want to mention. Um, first, I'm going to we'll come back to you. I'm going to first come back to the original thing before you came in, just to wrap that up, um, and then I'm going to address what you just said. Um, so we started off because um, Z here um, is uh, is now uh, an evangelist. He, he evangelizes to two people, um, and I was saying that I respect the idea that you would try to evangelize, uh, evangelize and that he, he said he was going. He go to Stamford Hill and evangelise to Jews. I was saying that although I respect the idea that, that you're preaching what you believe is the truth to people and I hope that they will also accept what you believe to be the truth, um, what I was saying is it is, it, it is dishonest and unhealthy to do that to, 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 and not very good to, to prey on people's ignorance in order to, in order to further that cause. And, and, and the, the, the reason we got into this whole subject in the first place was because of my little snide remark in which... Uh, in, in, you, sir? Yes. I don't believe yes, it. In, in, because of my snide remark, which I do believe has some basis of truth in it, um, that, um, that, um, that, that, that it might not actually matter according to, according to, according to evangelical, evangelical Protestant theology if you, do, if you are dishonest to these... Uh, these unsuspecting Jews. Well, that's, no, that's, 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 so there's no unsuspecting Jew. Jews are notorious for being uh, like cynical of Christianity and um, life in general. They like an all. argument. Well, in my experience, a healthy debate is more easily had with a Jew. If you go to some of these more insular communities. Oh yes, that's true. But I don't, I don't see a connection between evangelising with preying on people's ignorance. What untruth do you think the evangelists are doing? Well, they come with their with their pamphlets full of full of proof texts, right? And the only reason that people are going to accept what you say is because they haven't looked into what it says. And do you are you being like a soft racist? Do you have some prejudice against you saying they're so ignorant they won't even bother to go onto the internet and double check what a Jew has to say about it? Well, but I don't find that incredible. So. It's true that, that, with, that with most people, it's not going to work. Because most people are a bit more, especially Jews, are much more, um, are much more cynical and, and are going to look into this and are not going to take this on face value. But there are some people who do jump to conclusions. But the inner value and the face value match up with, I don't know this gentleman, but if he's preaching the gospel of Christ risen, then the face value is one thing. And then the subtext is a, is the same thing. Like so, the, that, this this what, imaginary what Jew. I mean that the truth that I believe that I am representing is not my truth or a truth. It's the truth. Yeah, I know so that. whether they find it to be true or not is nothing to do with me. It's to do with the Holy Spirit, whatever. I just have to put some little like roadblock in their spiritual walk, and then the Holy Spirit will do the hard work of you know like um, give putting people in their path and giving them reasons to see the truth of the statements that are given and that is why it is a pretty poor idea to use gimmickry is fine um, and like maybe a little bit of shock attack that's fine but to actually lie in the cause of Christ is redundant and it won't lose you your salvation it doesn't on Jesus make any name. sense because, because, yes. because that's free dishonor on Jesus name in terms of revere God's name and, and, and I do think there's some Christians and then deliberately lie. Well, but what if he sacrificed a lamb? 
what if he did deliberately go and then he sacrificed a goat or a lamb? Well, well, if you did that, then you'd only get. Well, 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 it depends. If you did it deliberately, then 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 Numbers chapter fifteen verses thirty to thirty one tell you that you're not covered anyway because it because it because there was never atonement through through, through blood when it came to deliberate to most deliberate sins. That there were a few exceptions if you look in the chapters four and five. Yeah, I was about to say so in the case of like five, occupation, are, no. in the case of um, Jews being persecuted, or like in pol some political ramifications of your words, you don't want to deliberately lie, yeah, yeah, yeah. but maybe your words are going to get an so, innocent well, family thrown well, into jail. Yeah, yeah, so, so, so there are there are times when 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 when, when a lie is is permitted, so a lie is permitted. When it's permitted, it, it, obviously there's no sin. Like we're talking about when it's when it's a prohibition, when it's actually a sin. And therefore, that proves what you're saying and what I'm saying. Yahweh yeah, searches the hearts and minds of men. Yes, that's obvious. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. We've got to a, an, an understanding. Yes. Well, I mean, we've got to an agreement that we always yes. knew that we had. Well, obviously, but I say that, 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 that uh, Jesus Christ also searches the hearts and minds. That's what the New Testament says, and that's one of the so this is um, a big confirmations. Time. This is a big thing. What well, I'm saying is, I'm saying is intentional sins, right? So very few, un very few intentional sins were ever covered by a blood sacrifice yes. in the Tanakh, right? There was no. The no, Christ no, is the no, perfect no. sacrifice, which I, covers I know, the sins I of know, the world. I know, I know, I know the Christian things that I'm talking about before that, <laughs> because, because even you believed there was a Mosaic covenant oh, that was at one point binding. Okay, according to yeah. you. Um, so I even, even in that, that even I know. But when you look back and you examine your own theology, yes. that you believe that this was once a this was once covenant, covenant, right? You have to try to make some sense of it. You have to realize that, that most intentional sins were not intentional yeah. 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 sacrifice. Yeah. So you had to do other things instead, like in Deuteronomy chapter four, um, verses um, twenty-nine, twenty-eight to thirty-one, right, where where it talks about like prayer and repentance. Right, but that was how you would that was how you would get atonement, uh, get back into God's favor after having done a sin, even an intentional one. Right? But when it's slightly different than what we think. Only well, I think we already discussed it. We had discussed this we had discussed this two weeks ago. We uh, um before we were interrupted by that fellow. Yeah. Um that um that Christians don't need to say it outwardly to someone that they can if they like, but there's no, you can just in your heart pray repentance. Well, it depends on what type of Christian or Catholics. Well, uh, well, you can go to confession, but that's not the atonement right there. Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, the, but even, even, but even Jews, it's not confessing to a person, it's confessing to God, right? So when, so when God gave the, the uh, Mosaic law, bearing in mind he's outside of time and all-knowing, they knew that the Jews would not be able to keep that law perfect. Yes. yes. So in his um, in his uh, coming to earth as Christ, etc. This is so this um, the Mosaic law is not is really a pointer to sin. It's a convictor. And what we're told in the New Testament is that the Holy Spirit is the convictor, and the law will be written on our hearts. And love covers a multitude of sins. And the only two commandments of Christ are to love God to love your neighbour as yourself and as yourself is pretty poor loving because if I loved myself I wouldn't be doing the sin like do you know what I mean I'd be trying very hard to be by my own will actually just to not embarrass myself to keep asking God I feel I'm sorry about that that's very nice once again this is also no no because you said no no you, I can't remember what you said that you that for me if God knew you said yeah that I believe old covenant and the, the validity of it and that no, no intentional sin or very few were covered by blood but what I'm saying is that was um, the God system at that time and God's um, newer system is perfect because he himself is the sacrifice I know that. and there can't be a sac I'm sorry there cannot be an act which that sacrifice cannot cover because it is perfect it is God's own blood being shed for the world I'm agreeing that that's what that, that, that Christians believe that, yes. that, that the old that the that, that, that the covenant found in the in the Torah is now obsolete. Yes. I'm, I'm agreeing Jews with you that. Must see that God knew no, Jews, Jews don't believe that. No, no, you didn't hear the end of it. No, of course not. That you believe that God knows all things. You knew what happened. Yes. 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 Yes.
to a point. If, if there's an point imperfect is. system and then God brings a more perfect, not imperfect as in it's from God, but people's involvement in that system led them into all sorts of nonsense. So, first of all, it's very obvious if you look at Psalm 19 that the law is perfect. Um, it's a conviction that is perfect in what it does. It shows people it's sin. I mean, but atonement is not that, redemption. There's no one in the that I know verse, it says that the law is a convictor. Uh, no, it'll probably be in the New Testament. So that was not really I don't know. Well, okay, okay, I, I, have a, I don't know. Before the, before, the most, before the law was there, no one could be convicted of specific sins that no one had, uh, you know, that had, if you, if, you, if you don't go into a legal textbook, find subsection B of the Public Order Act, you can't argue your case in court that I didn't actually do this. I didn't even know, because a lot of ignorance is no defense. But before it's extant, um, you know, written by the finger, before it's there, you can't know what the atonement process is, you can't know how you've broken... Before the, before the law before was given. Before Moses came down. Right, before the living was, the law was given. Yes, or before it was kept very well, like maybe in the first little time when they were dismantling the cow, like the very first thing goes, here you go, and they're like, wow, I never, you know, they, they had, they, obviously people know it's wrong to murder, it's wrong to dishonor God, it's wrong to dishonor your parents, but until it's, until it's there in black and white from the hand of God, it's, you can't be convicted of it legally. Right. So it is a convictor in that sense because the written law shows you this is what you've done wrong, and this is your penance, or this is your atonement. But again, atonement is not salvation. Right, by these laws, this is how you get close to God, yes, and, and, and if you them. break it, you distance yourself from God, yes. and and here's how to deal with it. Yes, so, 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 so with these kinds of things, you're going to have to bring a sin offering or a guilt offering, right? And with, and with these kind, of, okay, but with everything, if you, if you do if you try to pray and repent, you can. Arms and that also helps with repentance, right? So, what's the difference between, this, between sin and guilt? Uh, the sin offering and the guilt offering. Yeah, yeah. I ah. just genuinely, I so, don't want to argue it, I just want to know. So, I have a, I have a thing here. You have a lamb here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a lamb, but I do have a piece of paper that explains stuff, and sources and stuff. Because I don't you know don't have some paper. propaganda, no. no. pamphlet report, surely. No. Is this dishonest evangelizing? No, but I have some sources here in case I can get some extra time. The sin offering, if you want to read up on that, is explained in Luke chapter 4, verses 1 to 25, which is actually the entire chapter. And the guilt offering, where's the guilt offering? Is there the reasons for it other than the machinations of what? Um, uh, so, so the reasons for it are, are, are also there. Okay, but basically, with the sin offering, it just says if this person sins unintentionally. Oh, I see. All right, so if you have no guilt for it, if, you, if you're not involved, and a guilt, a guilt is, of it is when you yeah. sin, then you know it. Hold on. Is it intentional sin? No. The guilt. Hold on. There are, however, specific, several specific transgressions that were committed with intent, which the Levitical law of sacrifice mandates a guilt sacrifice. The requirements concerning guilt sacrifice one of these transgressions are specified in Leviticus chapter 5, verses 14 to 26. But these offerings are declared as obligatory for robbery and misappropriation of temporal property, which restitution has to be made as well. An interesting case concerns the requirements of the atonement of sins, such as being a, being a false witness and confessing to it, and entering the sanctuary inadvertently while being ritually unclean, and then realizing what happened and confessing to it in Leviticus chapter 5, verses 1 to 13. Uh, Terror does not give a name for this required offering, but the sages usually refer to it as a variable offering, because if you look in Leviticus chapter 5, um, it says that depending on your, the person's financial means, they have to bring different things. So in verse 6, it, the top level is um, quite well off being a female lamb or a goat. Oh, no, no. So those are intentional sins, the guilt offerings. So, this, so when you said earlier yeah, I, about I, I, I the intentional sins, you did I say there are certain... I, I said there are yes. a few of them. That sounded like quite a few. No, it's, really it's, only, no, it's only a few. Just wandering um, behind yeah. the curtain without washing your hands. And, that's not yeah. guilt, is it? That's, if it's, and it says, and you do not think of it until you're there and you're originally unclean, then that's not intentional. That's inadvertently. Yes, yeah, so some of these are intentional, some of these are innocent. Yeah, oh, and you still get a guilt offering. Oh, so it's not yeah, cut and dry. Yeah, you've got guilt offering for some intentional and some unintentional. So God describes the guilt yeah. kind of regardless yeah, of your... Yeah, it's, it's quite specific. Okay. Chapter 5, they're not, it's there. I've already made and a mental note not to do any of those things. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, very interesting, actually, about the variable offering. Um, in, so 
there's, di there's three different um, steps. So there's th three different types of people depending on your financial needs. Yes. So the top, the top one, if you're very wealthy, you bring a female lamb or a goat. Right, that's in business five, six. Let's go five, seven to ten. Um, if you're a bit, a bit less, so you can bring a pair of turtle doves or young pigeons, you're the middle class, right? The bottom level, if you're quite poor, you don't even bring any animals. You bring a certain weight of fine flour. That's in business five, seven to ten. So there, there wasn't even any fluff. Make some breadcrumbs to go with the other. Which is, um, which flies in the face of, um, of, of, I mean, if Hebrews 9.22 is, um, is talking about the old government, I'm not sure if it is, but if it was, then it would be an accurate that because blood um, is not the only thing that's according yeah, no, to the it actually says the remission of sins, doesn't it? It doesn't say guilt. Well, atonement. Atonement, atonement of sins and not yeah, guilt. So sins. sin offerings and guilt offerings. You've just told me the yeah. guilt offering is yeah. fine flour for working class or poor people. So Hebrews 9.22 would still be... No, but, no, because the guilt offering also brings atonement. They're both brings atonement, they just have different names. No, 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 it says there is no remission the only, the only reason we call it the guilt offering, right, and it's nowhere in the Torah to say, this is the guilt offering, right, this is not, right? But you just told me the guilt offering is flour I know, or I know, I know, I know. That, 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 that was the variable offering. Oh, okay, and what's I, the standard, basically? So, right, so the sin offering is, is, is what we call the offering that, that is called chatos, which means which, which comes from the word hate, which means a sin. And is it always okay? blood? And that's why we call it that. And that's always blood. Right? Yeah, that is cool. And those are unintentional yeah, that's offerings. What but those are all unintentional. Right? right? That, that, but that's not the only offering that's brought for sin. Right? For atonement of sin. There were other offerings as well that brought for atonement of sin. Guilt offering. Which we only call guilt because it keeps saying the word hosham. Yeah. I would imagine that Paul knew pretty well the Jewish. I, I know. I, I, I would, you would say no I because say he no. recognised Jesus as the no, but not only, not only because of that. Well, you'd start not only because of that. No, not only because of that. First of all, Paul came from Tarsus. Yes. Not exactly known as a as a as, as a as, wasn't as a Jewish exactly community. known as a place for anything yes. good to come from. Yes, but Tarsus was the was a was a centre of Hellenistic thought. It was. London is a centre for nonsense. Like, well, it we depends are. in London. It depends on. where you are. Have in London. <laughs> well, most if if I'm I'm telling, England, we're not known for that. We're not, unfortunately, anymore, we're not known for being a strong, God. That's not a strong Sorry? Just because of where he's from. Said, that was one thing. I haven't finished. I haven't finished. Right. Um, also, the way that he misquotes so many verses from the Tanakh throughout his epistles. Do you think he's just referencing them? Or deliberately misquoting them to, to I don't know. Um, so it, I don't know if he deliberately did it or if he simply didn't know the scriptures. He spent a lot of time getting battered so, and stoned and thrown in prison and riots erupting well, around him. Yes. So I mean, that's no, 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 that's probably a, a matter of record, I would imagine. Well, outside of the epistles, as an actual apostles, so, Josephus. So, no, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll look into it. I always say I look into it, and then I never. Then you don't. Re no, no, it's not that I don't. It's that I don't. I think I'll scoot through the video, but I have a lot of videos to watch. Oh, I'll make a note. Yeah, then. Huge. It's like it's right. like uh, it's like the guy comes into comes into school without so that having done his homework. But the dog goes and eats my and, telephone. And, and the teacher says, "Have you done your homework?" He said, "Well, I was going to do it, and then I did." <laughs> Well, the honesty is the best policy, yeah. and you don't have to repent. That's what I hear. Right, there's no good going into the chemical.